everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. So in today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I am going to be doing a Makeup Geek haul. So finally, I got my hands on some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I've been wanting to get these eyeshadows for such a long time and then finally, I was like, I'm gonna buy them. They were having like free shipping worldwide, so I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of that. So I bought 12 of these Makeup Geek eyeshadows because the shipping to Australia usually ranges between $13 and $34. So I thought, I'm definitely gonna buy them while the shipping is free. So let me just tell you, these eyeshadows are definitely worth the hype. They are everything everyone says they are and more. I was expecting such high things from these eyeshadows just because everybody talks so highly of them. And they were amazing, they are amazing. I'm so, so happy with my purchase, like, so beyond tapping. The shipping took around two and a half weeks, I'd say. Maybe two to three. They actually came pretty fast considering I bought them, I think, December 16th. Yeah, I bought them December 16th. And then we had that whole Christmas and New Year, so there was heaps of public holidays. And they came really fast, so I was really surprised. So I bought the 12 eyeshadows and the Z palette. I don't think I said I bought the Z palette before. But I bought that, the Z palette was $15 and each of these little eyeshadows are $6, which are semi expensive when you convert Australian to American. So all of this came up to $89, which is, I didn't think it was that bad, like I was like, yeah, it's fine, but then I forgot about the American, I know, stupid, but it came to, I think, $128 or $120, which is kind of expensive, but hey. Well, yeah, it is expensive, but I was just so excited to get my hands on these and I thought I might as well get them when the shipping is free. So originally I wanted to get the large black Z palette, but I only got the medium one because they didn't have any in stock left and the only large ones they had were like zebra prints and like a really bright blue, which I just wanted to get like a black sleek one. So I was like, all right, I'll just get medium. Like it's no big deal really, especially because I only got 12 eyeshadows. I don't need a massive Z palette. But if I ever buy from Makeup Geek again, which I probably will because the eyeshadows are on point, <laughs> I'd have to buy another Z palette because it's only going to fit four more, which is okay because I really like this for travel size anyways, so it's easy to like bring to my friends and I don't have to bring this like a massive palette. Okay, so I'm going to like stop rambling and show you guys the eyeshadows. So this is how I've put them. I love all of these eyeshadows. I think they're so gorgeous. So this is the first eyeshadow, it's called Vanilla Bean and it's pretty much just like an off-white. I really like to put this all over my eyelids before applying any other eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is called Shimmer Shimmer and this eyeshadow is beyond gorgeous. I absolutely love it, it's definitely one of my favourites. It is such a nice sparkly colour and I love sparkly eyeshadows. It reminds me a lot of the shade Kitten by Stiller which was definitely one of my favourites but this has now taken over. This shade is the famous Peach Smoothie. Every beauty guru YouTuber has this shade, so I thought I would try it out, and I think it's an amazing transition shade. I really like this color, and I'm really happy I picked it up. This shade is Creme Brulee, and it is just a nice light brown color. This shade is called Glamorous, and it's such a nice sparkly gold color. I absolutely love my sparkly eyeshadows. Like I said before, it's so nice, and it's so pigmented. This is the shade Frappe, and I swear to God, everyone and their mum owns this shade. Literally, I wish I bought four of these eyeshadows because they are so nice, and it's the one I go for the most. I've definitely used it the most out of all of these ones that I have. I like to use it in the crease, and it's just a really nice... I don't know, it's just such a nice colour, but it looks, I thought it was going to be more of like a brown colour, but it is definitely more of like a, like a warmer brown, like I've got it on my eyes right now, and it's not what I was expecting when I first used it, but I kind of like it better than I was expecting, if that makes sense. <laughs> this shade is absolutely gorgeous, it is called Cosmopolitan, and it is like a coppery, sparkly shade. I think it's so gorgeous and I don't have anything like it so I'm so so glad I picked this shade up. So this one is the shade Latte and I just think it's a really nice neutral brown. It'll go with like every look I feel like. This is the shade Mocha and it is a very dark brown. I like to put this on the outer corner of my eyes to darken up my looks. This is the shade Cocoa Bear and first of all how cute is the name but I feel like all the Makeup Geek eyeshadows have like the cutest names ever. But this is like a very, very warm brown colour. It has like tinges of like burgundy or like orangey, burnt orange in it. As you can tell, I'm not the best at describing like what kind of colours they are, but that's what the swatches are for. 
this is the color bitten and i am so excited to try this like i'm so excited like <laughs> it's crazy how excited people can be over makeup like i'm so excited to try this eyeshadow out you have no idea it's like a burgundy kind of color and i don't have anything like this in my makeup collection i am so excited to rock this all winter i just with like a really dark lip <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> but I've seen heaps of tutorials on this and after watching them all, I was like, I need to get this. The last eyeshadow is called Corrupt and it is the blackest of black eyeshadows. I used to have a Tumblr URL with the word Corrupt in it. Yeah, I did. It is the blackest of black eyeshadows and honestly, when you are using this, make sure you don't use too much because it is very full on and it is very, very dark. Like, very dark. <laughs> I know like, you're probably like, yeah, it's black, duh, but very dark. And that is all my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you if you were contemplating on getting some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I know they are pricey, but they are definitely worth it. I absolutely love them and I would 110% recommend them. They are my go-to. I've only had them for like a week or so but I have been obsessed with them every time I go to do my eye makeup I grab for this this yes okay we get it if you guys like this video or found it helpful at all don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because it means the world to me thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys